everyone this is Ekalpana here in this video we are going to solve a non-exact equation so let's get started problem solve y times 2xy plus e power x into dx minus e power x dy equals to 0 solution given differential equation y into 2xy plus e power x to dx minus e power x dy equals to 0. Consider as equation number 1. Okay. Which is of m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. Which is of m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. Where By comparing these two, we will get m equals to y times 2xy plus e power x and n equals to minus e power x. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So, let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and n with respect to x. We are having m equals to y times 2xy plus e power x and n equals to minus e power x. Do m by do y equals to do by do y of 2xy into y y square plus y into e power x. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so we will read x e power x 2 as constants. Okay, this is equal to partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term is equal to constant into partial derivative of y square with respect to y plus constant into partial derivative of y with respect to y is equal to 2x into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y plus e power x into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 is equal to 2 to the 4 xy plus e power x into 1 is e power x. So this is your Partial derivative of m with respect to y. Now let's find partial derivative of m with respect to x. Equals to do y do x of for n equals to minus e power x is equal to minus partial derivative of e power x. Partial derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x. So it's clear that partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of m with respect to x. Therefore, do m by do y is not equal to do n by do x. From this we can say that equation 1 is non-exact. Okay, fine. Now, let's reduce the given equation to exact equation that is non-exact to exact. We are having x into 2xy plus e power x into dx minus e power x into dy equals to 0. We can write it as 2xy into yy square plus y into e power x dx dx okay 2xy into yy square into dx plus y into e power x into dx minus e power x into dy equals to 0, right? So, if f of x equals to e power x, then f dash of x is equals to obviously e power x. And you can write this f of x, f dash of x as d f of x by dx right 
which is equals to e power x, then d f of x equals to e power x into dx. Here f of x represents e power x. So differential e power x can be written as e power x into dx. So here we can replace e power x into dx by differential e power x, right? Since e power x into dx equals to differential e power x. You can use bracket here. Then the above equation becomes 2xy square dx plus y into differential e power x minus e power x into dy equals to 0. Okay. We know that y into differential e power x minus e power x into differential dy by y square equals to differential e power x by y. Right. And also in the first term you are having differential dx. So it will be easy to integrate if we have only terms in x. Right. If you can remove this y square from the first term then it will be easy to integrate. So in order to remove this y square from the first term, we need to divide the whole equation by y square, right? And also, the two terms by y square gives differential e power x y y. In order to apply this formula, we need by y square, okay? So what we'll do is simply here, the integrating factor, the suitable integrating factor is 1 by y square. Okay. Now multiply integrating factor to this equation. Then we we'll get 1 by y square into 2xy square plus y into differential e power x minus e power x into dy equals to 0. Okay. Our integrating factor is 1 by y square. So, consider as equation 2. You can check whether 2 is exact or not. Okay. Then, we can check it later. So this equation becomes 2xy square. We'll get a differential here. Differential dx. 2xy square dx plus y into differential e power x minus e power x dy by y square equals to 0. Then, 2xy square dx by y square plus y into differential e power x minus e power x into dy by y square equals to 0. Now, y square gets cancelled in the first term and you can replace this by differential e power x by y then 2x dx plus differential e power x by y equals to 0. Now it's easy to integrate right. Now perform integration. Two into integral x dx Let's integral differential e power x by y equals to c or 0. I'll write c after performing integration. Okay. Then 2 into integral x dx is x square by 2 plus integral differential some x or some variable is e power x by y equals to integral constant. C. Since C, we know that 
integral d theta equals to theta, likewise integral dx equals to x. Similarly, integral differential e power x by y equals to e power x by y. Okay, don't get confused. Now here 2 gets cancelled, then x squared plus e power x by y equals to c. Now take the LCM, y in the numerator you will get x square y plus e power x by y equals to c. Then x square y plus e power x equals to c into y, c y, which is the required general solution. Now, let's check whether the reduced equation is exact or not. So, the given equation multiplied by integrating factor must be exact equation, right? So we have to check whether this equation is exact or not. We can write this as y into 2xy plus e power x dx minus e power x dy by y square equals to 0. Then y into 2xy plus e power x into dx by y square minus e power x y y square into dy equals to 0. u one y gets cancelled. Then 2xy by y plus e power x y y into dx minus e power x y y square dy equals to 0. Again, y gets cancelled. Then, 2x plus e power x y y into differential dx minus e power x y y square into dy equals to 0, which is in m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. Or, m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0. Right. By comparing these two, we will get m1 equals to 2x plus e power x by y and n1 equals to minus e power x by y square. So, if you get dou m1 by dou y equals to dou n1 by dou x, we can say that the reduced equation, that is the equation multiplied by, the given equation multiplied by 1 by y square is an exact equation. Okay, we have named that equation as 2. So we can say that equation 2 is exact. If we get dou m by, that is dou m1 by dou y equals to dou n by dou n1 by dou x. Okay, we are having m1 equals to 2x plus e power x by y and m1 equals to minus e power x by y square, right? Now let's find partial derivative of m1 with respect to y equals to dou y dou y or for m1 2x plus e power x by y. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so we'll treat x to e power y as constant. This equals to dou y dou y of first term plus dou y dou y of second term equals to Partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0 plus we can split as we can split this as e power x into 1 by y equals to constant 
into partial derivative of 1 by y. It is equals to constant into partial derivative of 1 by y. Partial derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square. Which is equals to minus e power x by y square. Now let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. n1 with respect to x. Okay. This is equals to dou y dou x of minus e power x by y square which is equal to minus dou y dou x or we can split e power x by y square as e power x into 1 by y square since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x so here 1 by y square is treated as constant is equal to minus 1 by y square that is constant into partial derivative of e power x with respect to x this is equal to minus 1 by y square into Partial derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x. This is equal to minus e power x by y square. So it's clear that partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Right. Therefore, do m1 by do y equals to minus e power x by y square which is equal to do n1 by into x from this we can say that partial derivative of m1 with respect to y equals to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x therefore the red juice equation that is equation 2 obtained by multiplying integrating factor 1 by y square to the given differential equation is an exact equation So, we have seen a problem from non-exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.